I feel like I aged like 30 years. <laughs> so now I'm an adult who can't, who may or may not be able to eat meat and bite properly. <laughs> Here in Ubud, teenagers traditionally grind down their canine teeth in a ritual called masange. It's supposed to spiritually break us from our animalistic instincts and ancestors. When we complete this ritual, we're officially an adult and allowed to have sex and marry. Today is the last day of my grandmother's funeral, which means it's my turn to cut spiritual ties with her and become a woman. Are you nervous? Yeah, I'm nervous. Sonia, aku aku Virgo yang gak attention. I feel like such a queen. I have like two, three people helping me out. <laughs> We're in hide. We're in hideaway until we get called up to go do our patangi, our tooth filing, and then by then we'll be an adult, <laughs> according to Balinese spiritual spirituality. Jadi benar-benar gigi kita benar-benar di bukan cuma sekedar emang untuk menghilangkan kayak apa ya saya taring taring itu bentuk dari penghilangan satripu kayak keenam sifat jahat dalam diri manusia. It's about control yourself. Ya kan, ge? Control your anger, your jealousy. Ini adalah kewajiban sebagai orang tua. Jadi kewajiban yang harus dipenuhi. Tante sebelum kawin ke sini harus tante potong gigi karena itu kewajiban orang tua tante. Kalau sini ngapain? So now they're just saying like I think. They're going to do the tooth filing at 11 and now they're saying we have to get ready in 15 minutes and I think there's so many events that are happening and there's a lot of miscommunication and communication between the higher, the priest and the people and us. There's a lot of drama already, like such, such family and like spiritual and... Yeah. <laughs> In the meantime, traditional priests, we call them sanging, are busy prepping the tools. Each one has its own specific purpose. Ini pertama namanya ini palu kita untuk pertama ngambil giginya pertama. Dari itu yang kedua nanti kita gunakan untuk gininya, kikirnya untuk menghaluskan giginya yang dipotong tadi gitu. Dari itu habis itu ini kita pakai kayu cenana namanya untuk supaya kita mendapatkan Taras giginya tu bagaimana gitu kaya kelihatan lebih indah lah gitu lebih bagus gitu. Macam mana pacar? Pacar mana pacar? Macam mana pacar? Mana pacar? It's like the main topic of conversation for everybody. I think. Oh yeah. I think women after twenty, they're all starting to suspect who their partners are. Itu biasa. Biasa banget. dan juga untuk saya nggak ada evil forces yang datang dan bla 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 tapi dulu kalau misalnya di yang lebih tradisional lagi biasanya ibu bapaknya ibu bapaknya yang kayak ngangkat dari Bali satu ke Bali lainnya ini 2018 jadi kita milenial potong gigi 2018 it's fashionable I hope kayak maunya gambarin Nike simbol kita nggak bisa ya no brands no brands Aesthetic. Chung, chung, chung. Now I'm on my way to the ceremony. I know I've said this before, but I really feel like a queen, a spoiled, overly dressed one who's too good to step on the dirty ground.
My dad told me not to close my eyes. He joked that in the past people were poisoned when they opened their mouths. So you have to watch out for the haters while you're shining. I was warned not to smile, except in the mirror, to avoid being cursed. Okay, the minute you lay down, like you really feel like now I know why it's like such a serious um, ceremony because I don't want to to the roof of the body. So it's like manner manner intense, then manner manner like wow. You feel like an adult now? <laughs> Not sure. Oh, get back to you. <laughs> Who knows? Now that they're done with the queen's teeth, my sisters are next. <laughs> we might have faked our smiles for this picture, but if you see my parents, their joy couldn't be more real. Maybe it's because masange is believed to be a generational ritual, and the final duty parents will carry out for their children. <laughs> Also, Masange probably has more to do with family pride than self-discovery, judging by how many group photos I was forced to take. Fake aja Fake, fake, fake. Dia impersonator This is so ridiculous. There's a lunch break now, and I'm gonna test out my new teeth on this piece of sake. I don't wanna make a scene. You're gonna pay me after, right? Yes. I'm wait, I'll wait for the paycheck. Contemporary <laughs> millennial. With my new thing. Seharusnya <laughs> pakai ini grills gitu yang rapper kira. So now an adult who can't, who may or may not be able to eat meat and bite properly. <laughs> First bite still tastes the same. Still, I think I'm still as capable of biting as I could be. <laughs> But am I as capable at life? Does this mean I have my shit together? Since I lost my fangs, I've been asking myself what being an adult really means in Bali. Uh, I don't know if I feel like an adult. Maybe, maybe I'll never feel like an adult. <laughs> maybe I, maybe I'll get there someday somehow. But right now, I think an adult for a lot of people is like fulfilling the parents' wants and needs, the community wants and needs, which is like, like I had an uncle who asked, like, what's next? What's next? So like, are you waiting for my wedding? Is that what? I think I see this experience and this traditions as something that I fully respect. A lot of outsiders have been stuck in this perspective of what Bali means. 
I think I'm reclaiming the culture by kind of being Balinese without having prior, without being affected by the prior views of what Bali is. I don't think the Balinese are doing all of this culture because of the white gaze. I think the more the white gaze happen, the more they're seeing it as an opportunity to continue their culture. But in the end, none of that really matters. This is still my roots and what made me who I am today. Uh, so fucking cheesy. Aku takut takut di curse nanti karena lewat dapur, jangan lewat dapur, pakai masih pakai payas. So I'm gonna be curse as well. Iya, kamu juga di curse ya. Kita berdua curse ya, bertiga di curse, nggak apa-apa.